Good afternoon, good afternoon again from Belgrade here at Mixter House. Uh, I'm here today with Kori Udovicki. She's the Deputy Prime Minister of Serbia and also the Minister of Local Self-Government. Uh, Kori, already the United Nations is working very closely with Serbia in putting together a five-year development strategy up until 2020. Uh, and, and one of the things that we're talking about today is the importance of culture and development. In other words, culture has a role to play in so many different development areas for Serbia. Why is that so important for Serbia right now? What kinds of areas are we talking about? Well, there is two very different ways in which we understand the word culture and in both it is very important for Serbia. First of all, what normally we say is culture that uh, as a kind of activity, uh, a creative production uh, of people. It's very important for Serbia's development to understand, for the Serbs to understand and engage in creating more culture as, as, the, as, as an industry, as an output, because Belgrade is a, a regional hub and center that is extremely creative and that this contributes to, to, to Serbia's and the region's development, but we don't see it as such. And here, here we have the second aspect of the word culture, which is how we, our attitudes, how we look at things, what we value. And Serbia needs to change uh, quite a few aspects of its culture with uh, the Serbian citizens in order for our development to accelerate. Um, number one is really taking responsibility, taking initiative. Uh, we need to stop waiting for a, an abstract and paternalistic state to somehow solve our problems. And this is particularly felt at the local level and particularly felt when it comes to wanting cultural initiatives that can even be productive and in income generating activities to go forward. People have to come together, be accepting, uh, take initiative, be open to each other's here and let the process of creation come from bottom up and, 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 and release the energy that is today pent up in a lot of us in this country. I think Robbie, part of the challenge also is that in so many cases you have people just struggling to make ends meet, you know, struggling uh, with just you know, the day-to-day -day living challenges without realizing that one way of overcoming it. But without realizing that one way of overcoming it is maybe by looking at things differently. So in, in other words, instead of either blaming people or for that matter, feeling that someone is a threat to them, maybe that maybe, maybe those people are not a threat to them. Well, it's, there is a, an attitude of waiting or even hopelessness of some people. You see, Serbia does uh, provide enough for truly basic survival for everybody. There is also a lot of dependence uh, on government's uh, assistance, handouts if you want, and a lot of dependence on, on, on remittances from abroad. And then people live at a certain kind of a minimum, cultural minimum, instead of taking that and saying, okay, now what can I do, even if it takes a lot of effort for a while, to one day see things really differently. Um, of course that we are, need to as well as a state do more and it is our priority to make sure that the, the, the support and the priorities that we invest in are conducive also to the release of this energy. But it has to be uh, a work that is done from both sides. Well that's the energy that we're seeing already here here at the Mixter House, energy from a lot of different artists, but we're also saying that culture is not only just the art you see uh, on the walls, uh, the art on display, it's also the culture that comes from people themselves in terms of what they can do as members of society, members of Serbian society, uh, a way of saying that they can in fact be the ones who really you know, trigger, can become the spark for development in, in Serbia. Uh, so Kori Udovicki, uh, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Local Self-Government, thank you very much.